Hey y'all, my name is Jalen and this is Art in Color, a channel where I talk about contemporary artists of color. Today we are going to talk about Hain Ko, an artist who creates large, playful sculptures that are bigger and stranger than life itself. Before we get into it, please subscribe to my channel so you can get notified every single time I post a video. Also, please stay tuned because there's going to be an amazing surprise in the middle of this video. Now on to the art. Born in Jersey City, New Jersey, Hank Ho is an artist based in Brooklyn, New York. She graduated from Dartmouth College with a dual BA in Studio Art and Psychology and received her MFA in Painting and Printmaking from Yale. Ko's work consists of soft, colorful sculptures of dripping eyes, crying rainbows, glittery claws, and clamshells, often putting conversations about perception and symbolism in a playful light. Her works often call to mind a whimsical childhood experience, depictions of oversized flowers with eyes, a burger with a tongue sticking out, and a one-eyed feminine ice cream cone are just some of her latest creations. Ko strives to capture a sense of innocence mixed with a sense of wit within her work. So a lot of Ko's work can be described as soft sculpture. What is soft sculpture? Let me quickly explain. Soft sculpture can be defined as sculpture composed of soft materials such as rubber, cloth, or latex. Such works sort of go against traditional ideas about sculpture, such that it needs to be made from fancier or more expensive materials like marble or bronze. Although artists in the early 20th century were definitely creating soft sculpture, people really sort of took notice of Clay's Oldenburg as the originator of the form in the mid 20th century. Interested in playfulness and femininity, Ko is quoted as saying, I think of my studio as my fantasy escape world. I need to have fun and derive pleasure from making my work, otherwise I wouldn't be motivated to make it. The world in my head is surreal and blurs the line between what's real and what is fantasy. I am just making the things that are inside of me that I want to see outside in the world. As a child of the 80s, Ko cites surrealism and pop art as some of her earliest influences and in introduction to art. She also cites Pee Wee's Playhouse as one of her major influences, as well as Ava Hesse, Louise Bourgeois, and Kusama. More recently, she has works that appear as doubles and trios, referencing a mother and her two children, based off of her and her daughters. A lot of the forms are still very feminine, but this work is not intended to be as blatantly about femininity like some of her works heavily referencing the female body from earlier on. She is quoted as saying, I end up twinning a lot of my works. I think a lot about relationships in my work. I can get very sappy and sentimental. I think my kids have allowed me to tap into that. Okay, time for the most exciting part of this video, which is the big surprise I talked about earlier, which is that Hank Co has agreed to say hello to all the viewers of Art and Color and give us some information about her practice. Hi, my name is Hank Co. I'm saying hi from my studio. My pronouns are she and her, although you can really call me whatever you want as long as it's not Hein. I know my name looks like it should be pronounced Hein, but it's actually Hain. My practice involves sculpture, painting, and drawing. I think most people probably know me as a sculptor because that's what I was doing for about 10 years before the pandemic hit. But once the pandemic hit, after taking a break for a couple months, I found myself wanting to reconnect with painting and drawing, which I had actually studied in undergrad and graduate school. So it was my first love. So my practice has changed a lot. I feel that it's becoming more complete now, having multiple facets. And I've been making work mostly based on the character of a broccoli woman. Uh, you could see her behind me right here for a little bit of sneak peek. And I'm gonna let Jalen talk about my work now because I bet she can articulate it better than I can. Bye. Thank you so much for sharing. I am super grateful as I am sure all of the viewers of Art and Color are as well. A specific work, or I guess group of works, I'd love to highlight um, from Ko is Braving the Cold. Braving the Cold was a variety of digital drawings and sculptures that were in Rockefeller Center's Art in Focus series. The works feature loud and passionate colors and explore love, fantasy, and femininity. The show was made up of seven sculptures, eight murals, and seven light box installations, which were all throughout nooks and niches across Rockefeller Plaza, as well as along Fifth Avenue in New York City. For Braving the Cold, Ko tried out materials that were new to her, like velvet and satin. 
and taught herself to draw in Photoshop for the purpose of creating the murals and light boxes. More recently, Ko has moved on from sculptures and actually has started to work on canvas. Characterized with layers upon layers of marks across the canvas, Ko's new paintings still feature her recurring cast of fantastical creatures. Hain Ko has had her work featured in galleries such as Anton Kerr, the Rockefeller Center, Platform Gallery, and the Savannah College of Art and Design Museum. As always, I'll provide some links in the description below so you can learn more about her and her practice beyond just this video. The question of the day is kind of fun. It's just, who is your favorite artist who uses bright colors? Please leave your answers below and we can all talk about it and learn about artists from each other. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you learned something new, share it with a friend. Until next time, goodbye!